45 million years ago, in an inland sea that is now the province of Alberta, Canada, there existed many, many sea creatures that lived in that sea. And there was a snail there, or a sea creature. It had a shell, very similar to the Nautilus. And it was called the Ammonite. And when the Ammonite, when the uh, dinosaurs, of course, were all uh, became extinct due to a natural process, this sank to the bottom of that ocean. When the ocean dried up, it fossilized. And when they did discover it about 45 million years later, they noticed that the inside shell had this wonderful natural play of color, this iridescence. And we call this amylite. And they harvest that, and they actually make it into a wonderful, wonderful natural gemstone that's really quite rare. It's not available anywhere else but in Alberta, Canada. It's big time popular in Japan and, of course, also in the United States. I want to show some of it here. It's very unusual. It's rare. And again, it's a one source only gemstone. This is an actual ammonite. Now, this is a small one. Of course, they can get very, very large. They can get the size of a basketball or even larger. And this is a shell and it's fossilized, of course. And as you can see here, these are all the wonderful iridescent colors. You can see green, you can see red, and this is completely natural and it's untreated. And what they will do, folks, is they will actually remove this and cut it into a gemstone. And I have one here, right over here. The colors that are formed here, these different iridescent colors, this is caused by a phenomenon called light interference. Do you ever notice when you're playing a CD, you can see all the different colors of the rainbow? Well, that is caused by a phenomenon called light interference. And this is how you're getting the reds and the greens. Now, this is called uh, lizard skin. But sometimes you'll see an example of it where it's all broken up like this. And then other times you'll see an example, I'm going to slide one into the shot here, where it's more of a solid color. And this is all completely natural. These undergo no treatment whatsoever. This is called amylite, and it's made from the ancient sea creature, called the ammonite that existed around 45 million years ago. If you like to touch the past, then you'll love Canadian ammonite.